All right, hello, wine drinking people. Today is Tuesday. Is that the fourth of June? God, already into the month of June, and man, we got a couple of great once in a lifetime tastings coming up this month. The 1990 Bordeaux tasting almost sold out. And the end of this week, our ultimate white tasting. Le Mans Roche, Aubryon Blanc, Corton Charlemagne. We've got some great German stuff, stuff from Alsace, some incredible events. Check out our calendar events for some once-in-a-lifetime tastings, like what we just showed this wine at our Brunello tasting to showcase the 2008 vintage, which is looking like a very good vintage from Montalcino, but not like 1995. You know, all the accolades went to 97, but if you look at the Italian press in the 90s, 95 was one of the strongest vintages, and 1999. 1997 also was very good, but a little more forward. When uh, you talk to the producers, their eyes light up about 95 and 99, because these are classic years, years that are going to live on in your cellar for another decade, two, or even more. Well, Canalicchio de Sopra is one of these great small producers that we buy every year. And, you know, I guess your opinion is somewhat affected by the people. And uh, Primo Pacenti, the owner or the winemaker of this winery, uh, what a delightful gen gentleman this guy is. Really um, small in size, but huge in terms of uh, his presence in the community. And uh, his grandson, we had him for a dinner, I'll never forget this, Francesco. And he was just like 20 years old. And he got up to give his introduction to tell people about his property and he told them he was 20 years old, and when he sat down, I said, Francesco, it's, you have to be 21 to be the legal drinking age in this country, so you got 10 glasses sitting in front of you. We did a 10-year vertical that evening at Mancini's, and uh, I said, you may want to just lie about your age until you turn 21. In the United States of America, I know in Italy, you're old enough to drink as soon as you can hit the table, and um, hey, my son's eight years old. He already loves the experience of wine, and whenever daddy's got a glass, he lets I let Antonio taste a little bit. And uh, Brunello Montalcino, one of my favorite varietals. Like I said, we do a tasting every year to showcase the new releases. And I always show an older vintage wine at this event to show you why. Even though Brunello is released after five years, one of the, uh, the wines that's held longer than any others, well, the Reserva is held six years. Canalicchio de Sopar is one of these great small producers. They make about 2,000 cases. Total production of this wine, they produce 4,000 bottles, which is under 400 cases. I can't believe that we can offer you this wine, a Reserva Brunello from a great vintage, the highlights of our Brunello tasting just a few weeks ago at the same price as the current release. It doesn't make any sense. How can we do it? Oh, we've got friends. Anyways, uh, there's just a few cases of this left in the marketplace, and it is drinking at or near its peak right now. Just when Brunello gets mature, it has this lovely earthy quality to it, almost like a black truffle, black tar, and then uh, still this sour cherry fruit persistent and wonderful freshness in this wine. A very typical style of Brunello, meaning aged in oak casts, all old, and uh, you really get the essence of the terroir, which this is from one of the best areas in Montalcino. Canalicchio de Sopra is the name of one of the areas in the Gode de Montesoli, uh, the two vineyard areas where Canalicchio has got its vineyards and incredible juice. Check it out. Everything we've got from the 95 Vintage from Tuscany have also included on this offer. I'm your host, Andrew Lampasoni, signing off for the Wine Watch, saying remember, always drink the good stuff first.